Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. I also just want to thank my Libras out there. You have been showing me and this channel some serious love lately. So thank you. I love you so much. All right, let's see. All right, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Your person showing up as the Four of Cups. They're viewing you as the magician in reverse. So get ready. There might be some action here in this connection, or you might get communication during this upcoming Mercury retrograde in Virgo. All right. We have the Seven of Cups. And I believe Mercury retrograde starts on the 29th um, of August. But you want to check my dates on there on that. All right. What you're not seeing is the Seven of Cups. And your final outcome advice is the Knight of Cups in reverse. And we have the two of pentacles in reverse. All right, Libras, I'm not going to lie. I have tried to do your reading now three times and it just hasn't been able to get off the ground. And each and every time it, it has been slightly negative. And I feel there's a message coming through in this reading as well. Although the cards are very different that you're dealing with someone here that it's time to make a decision about whether or not you want to continue dealing with them or not. Because the Four of Cups tells me this person may not be emotionally available. Although they might be planning on surprising you, sending you a message, or making you an offer during this upcoming Mercury retrograde. But I, I feel like what you're not seeing is that this person has other options. You could be dealing with a player. Um, or this person deliberately has this... Um, like distorted energy or doesn't want you to see things for what they truly are when it comes to them. So I do feel with the two of pentacles, maybe you've had an off and on with this person. Maybe there's a lot of back and forth. Um, with the eight of pentacles, you might work with this person or maybe you've put in a lot of work or maybe you feel like you both have put in time and effort into this connection. But there's some, there are definitely some red flags coming out and not just in this reading, but the also, also the two or three that I've tried to tried to do for you regarding this person. So the two of wands in reverse tells me this connection definitely is blocked. Again, strong messages here that it's time to make an important decision here about this connection. Yeah, and the 10 of swords, maybe possibly ending it. it I do feel like it will be painful for you, possibly painful for them. Um, and maybe you have already ended it and you're not in communication with this person, that's definitely possible. Um, but I also feel here there's some past baggage that's not allowing this person to open up emotionally to you. So uh, it feels like they might go through the motions or they might say or do all the right things. But especially with that Knight of Cups coming out in reverse, I feel like we can't fully trust this person, Libra. So unfortunately, I feel like this is going to be a reading about, you know, paying attention to the red flags. But let's see, the Four of Cups tells me this person isn't giving um, they're not open emotionally. They're not available. Okay. Yep. Ace of wands and we get the five of wands in reverse. Your person has some serious ego energy going on here with the five and the ace of wands, the six of wands. I feel they like getting attention from others. I feel like they really like getting attention from you, Libra, but I kind of feel like we've got someone here that might be keeping you single or someone who's, you know, who's a bit of a player or somebody who's too off and on. This person doesn't want any drama, but it's like they also don't want to give to the connection. So if you're feeling off balance, I, I, and I feel like you definitely are feeling off balance because this person's words and actions to me aren't matching up. It's like they don't want any drama, but they don't want to give you what you're looking for, or they don't want to give you the truth about how they're feeling or what they want. Now they're viewing you as the magician in reverse. So some of my Libras, maybe you've already pulled away from this person. Um, this person might be also feeling like you're a bit manipulative, but again, watch out for that because I feel like they're projecting their own manipulation onto you. So be careful of this person like gaslighting you. Yeah, they do feel like there's unfinished business between you and them, but I do kind of feel like we've got somebody really selfish here that enjoys the drama that doesn't want to let you go, but like doesn't want to move the connection along or offer any sort of commitment. 
Yeah, eight of pentacles in reverse. Some of you, you might work with this person. Maybe you see them at the gym. You see them out and about in the community or at school or something like that. Or maybe you, you go into their job or they come into yours, but I feel like you might be avoiding this person. Or maybe you've switched up your habits and your routine so you don't see them or you don't have as much time for them as you did in the past. I feel like this person... They're very, they're, they, they don't want to let you go because of that. But again, it feels quite manipulative. It feels like there's some serious game playing going on here. Um, it feels like they probably tell you they don't want any drama. But then again, they probably do things to make you feel jealous or to evoke some sort of dramatic reaction from you. Okay, so just be aware of that because I feel like this is somebody who's definitely throwing you off center, throwing you off balance and kind of has you in reactive mode. All right. What you're not seeing is the seven of cups. There's this distorted energy here. Um, <clears throat> this person does want to get something off of their chest, Libra. But I also feel like this person, like if they come and go or they ghost or they go really quiet on you, it's most likely because they have some other option. Yeah. And this person definitely holds back. Now, it is possible that they've got a lot of responsibilities or they have a lot on their plate. But I also feel like you can't fully trust this person, Libra. I feel like what's kind of weighing them down is maybe they, they have a lot of different stories going on, you know, and when we're, when we're dishonest, it's hard to keep everything straight. So I do feel like this person has kind of dug themselves into a hole here with you. Um, with the Knight of Cups energy in reverse, this is confirmation that you want to be very careful about investing emotionally or further investing emotionally with this person, that they're either a player or they just want to be indulged. It's kind of like they're in it for themselves, Libra. Okay, hermit card energy in reverse. I feel like this person has you a little bit spun out. You know, hermit energy in reverse is like I'm overthinking, you know, I'm looking at all these details because the re because what I'm getting with this magician energy in reverse, it's not you who's manipulative here. This person's either gaslighting you or this person's words and actions don't add up. So again, they might tell you they love you, they care for you, they want this relationship, they don't want to let you go, but then it's like they either go quiet, they go cold, they ghost, or they just don't offer you what you truly need. So Spirit's telling you to look at all the details here, Libra, about this person. Yeah, and the Ace of Cups, There's this person has a blocked heart chakra, and it's time to see the truth here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. All right. I do think this is a strong soul connection. I can see why it may be difficult for you to leave it behind. And maybe some of you already have left it behind and you're just trying to figure out, okay, like, what do I, did I make the right decision? I feel like this is a major confirmation reading for my Libras that it is time to let this person go. It's about really investing wisely in your time, you know, your time, your effort, your love, your money, your resources, because I don't feel like this person is ready for you to be honest, but I do feel like for a lot of you, they're either trying to keep you single and maybe not even intentionally trying to keep you single, but that's what's going on here. And I, I'm seeing manipulation, words not backing up their actions. And yeah, for a lot of you, there is some sort of third party. Look over your shoulder. Spirit's telling you to watch out for this person, watch out for their energy, Libra. Yeah, it's time to meet someone new. Yeah, I, I feel like Spirit's telling you it's time to it's time to look out for somebody new. This person doesn't, it doesn't feel healthy. It doesn't feel good to me at all. Yep, and it's time to move on. It's time to find closure. And some of my Libras, you really might have to give yourself closure because I feel like the type of person you're dealing with here is never going to be able to give you that closure, never going to be able to really truthfully tell you how they feel or what's going on with them. And again, lots of ego energy. I'm getting a really strong distorted masculine energy off of them. All right. We do see that you have a soulmate coming your way. So I am going to switch things up for you, Libra, a little bit um, and take a look at like who might be coming your way because the message to me is very clear. And like I said, I tried to, I think this is the third time I tried to do your reading. And each time it's like your person came out as like the knight of, uh, sorry, the king of swords in reverse quite manipulative, maybe a bit, you know, selfish, even bordering narcissistic. All right. And so it's like the message is clear. Somebody out there needs to hear it. The seven of cups in reverse is telling me that it's time to see through distortion. Most likely this person has told you in not so many, not so many words, the type of person they are, but it's like, it just feels like, it just feels like then they, they come in and they do something very sweet or they, you know, maybe they buy you gifts or they, or they, you know, they do something very sweet for you. And it kind of like, it's confusing. 
And to, to be honest, Libra, I want to get out of this person's energy because I feel, I don't feel confused. I feel duped. That's the energy I feel like. Uh, I just feel too much push and pull, too much back and forth here. So you have a new soulmate coming towards you, somebody who might be passive. They might also be waiting in the wings, waiting for you to let go of this person or this connection, especially if they're already in your energy or just energetically, they're waiting for you to free yourself up here, Libra. All right, this person is, wow, this person's gonna really match your energy because this counselor energy to me is Libran energy. So really good at mediating situations. They easily guide people through difficult circumstances. This person may not have children. And this is somebody who has potential to be your life partner, Libra. So this is going to be a mutual love with somebody who shares your vision for the future. Somebody who also prioritizes, you know, like balance and harmony in connections. And it's meant to be a long-term connection that's coming towards you. So I'm going to just very quickly pull some additional cards on how you might be able to identify this new person. Clear messages and guidance for my Libras. How will they identify this new energy coming towards them? I feel like the message is clear. It's time to close out this cycle with this person who's kind of sneaky and manipulative that you've been dealing with. This new person is physically active. They might have a severe allergy. They might also have a dry sense of humor. And it does look like they may have some tattoos. All right. And we already see that this person is meant to be a life partner, but let's see if there's anything else we can get that my Libras need to hear about this new energy. It's a new soulmate that spirit's sending on your path. Yeah, I love this card magnetism because there's a gravitational pull towards each other, but it also tells me Libra, there's not a whole lot that you have to do. Um, like this person, you're in this person's orbit. They're gonna, you're gonna be drawn to each other naturally. All right, this person is gonna be your best friend and your lover. All right, and yeah, the universe is gonna drop you a whole bunch of signs and clues before this person comes in. And I'm also seeing don't judge a book by its cover. They might not be your usual type. Um, and, or yeah, they might just be different than what you're accustomed to. Again, not your usual type, um, but don't judge a book by its cover because this is your person. For some of you, it may be a best friend who's also waiting for you to close out this cycle who wants to be more, okay? So just, you know, pay attention. All right, Libras, I love you so much. Uh, thank you again for all the love and support you've shown me in this channel. I'm sending you lots of love and light. And if you're, if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Love and light, Libras. Take care.